Today, I'm going to show you how to take your SSD drive out of your MPC Live and put it in your MPC Live 2. Let's get it. Mini clip. What's up? This is the King of Caesar bringing you gear reviews, unboxings, and tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and hit that bell notification button, but please don't hit your cats. <laughs> so people want to know how difficult or easy it is to transfer your SSD drive from your MPC Live 1 to your MPC Live 2. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is, and I'm going to show you how quick it is to get set up on the MPC Live 2 once you do switch your hard drive over from your MPC Live 1. Okay, guys, we have the Live 1 and the Live 2 right here. And we're going to basically switch all the information or all the stuff I have from the Live 1 over to the Live 2. And that's pretty easy to do because this Live 1 has an external hard drive. I put an SSD in here that's one terabyte. And all I'm going to do is switch it from here over to the Live 2. And that has, like, all my expansions and all my beats and, and basically everything I need for the Live 2. To, to be switched over from here. So let's get to this. First, I'm gonna power power uh, both devices down and then I'm gonna flip them on their back so you can see what we're gonna do. So right here, we have the Live 1 and the Live 2 and as you can see, they have bays where you can put your external hard drives. Now I recommend getting SSD or solid state drives because those are the fastest. Now, if you're a person and you're new to MPC and it's your first time putting a drive in, it's, it's just as easy as what I'm going to show you right here. And I'll even show you how to format your drive when you do put your, your external drive into your device. It's fairly simple on Mac. I think it's uh, the same on PC. So I don't have a PC, so my demonstration will be on Mac. So stay tuned. So what you're going to need for this is a regular Phillips head screwdriver, as you can see right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take off the four slots on the, on the outside. Now, you also want to keep track of your screws. So find something that you can put your screws in so that you don't lose them. Because if you lose them, then you're going to have to go get new ones and it's going to be annoying. So now that we have that, you'll be able to take, take the back off. Now, as you can see, this hard drive is, is plugged into here, but it's held on by more screws. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also take these screws out that are attaching the hard drive to this plate so that it stays in place while it's inside the machine. Now, as you can see, the hard drive is no longer connected to the plate, so I can set this plate to the side. As you can see, the hard drive is still attached to the SATA port, so what I'm going to do is detach the hard drive from the SATA port or the SATA plug. Just like that, and you have your external hard drive out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the plate back on the MPC Live 1, and then we're going to go to the MPC Live 2, and we're going to put this drive in. Okay, something I want to point out before we continue. when you If you're new to MPC and you get your new MPC, you're going to get a user manual now. Some people don't keep these and they don't they don't keep them around. Make sure that you look inside here. Not only does it have a dust cover that that could be useful for wiping off your screen, you know, all them fingerprints and stuff. It also supplies the screws that you're going to need when you get an external hard drive. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the plate off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to repeat the steps. I'm going to put this hard drive and connect it to the SATA port. Let's do it. Okay, now you guys can see 
that the hard drive is attached to the back of the plate. Now I'm going to just attach this plate and secure it on the MPC so it's not moving around and so it's, it's sealed. Now that I have both plates back on, let's flip these over and see what we got. Now let's see if we got our stuff in here. When we did like our little drum kits and stuff like that, it formatted it in a way that when you when you switch it to a new MPC, it reads it. So now all my expansions right here, as you can see, are in there. And like all my stuff, like let's open up a beat. Now I got a beat loaded on the MPC from my external hard drive that I just put in here. And this was a beat that I made live on um, for Flip That Sample Tuesday. Shout out to my boy, I make, I make beats in that in the Flip That Sample challenges that he does. So let's see if it plays. <laughs> Now, for somebody who's coming with a new hard drive and you need to format it, what you're going to do is you're going to put your hard drive in, just like I showed you on the MPC Live 2. You're going to use this cable. This is your USB 3 cable so that you can plug your MPC into your computer and put it in standalone mode. So let's go over to the computer now, and I'll show you what you'll have to do so you can format your hard drive so that it works with your MPC. Let's get it. So here we are back at the main screen, and before we start, I would like to ask you guys to help me on my journey to get to 5,000 subs by my birthday I have my goal up here at the top as you can see if you would just do me a favor and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for me that would be amazing now getting back to the subject at hand how to format your SD drive once you have your MPC live so I'm gonna put my MPC live 2 into controller mode and you're gonna see hard drives pop up on the screen and this is using the Mac by the way so here I am with the MPC. I'm going to put it in controller mode by pushing this button right up here. It looks like a little microchip. So what you would do is just push that button. It's going to ask you if you want to go into controller mode. You're going to say yes. So now on the desktop screen, you can see that two more drives have popped up that weren't there before. We have the Samsung drive and we have the old Caesar drive. Now both of these drives are already formatted, but the old Caesar drive is my internal SSD drive that's inside of my MPC Live 2. So on a Mac, if you want to format this drive, this is what you have to do. So basically what you want to do is find this utility. You can do that by searching up at the top up here. You can go to the search and you can put in disk and you see it pops up right there, disk utility. We're going to click on that. This will give you a readout of all the drives that you have on your desktop currently. SSD drives, USB sticks, anything, SD cards, anything that's showing up here that has storage is going to show you. So once you're in disk utility, what you would want to do is go down and find the drive that you're trying to format. So for me, I went down here to the old Caesar drive right here, click on it. Then you would go to erase. Once you click erase, it's going to ask you what you want to name the drive. So you can name it anything. Name it what you want. Something that is going to help you remember what drive it is when you're looking at it. Now, formatting is the biggest part. What's recommended when you format this drive is to put it in the XFAC. As you can see here, I'll pull these down and you have a couple different ones that you can format your drive in. You want to go to XFAC or XFAC. Look at who just woke up coming to crash my session. But anyway, back to what I was saying. The reason why you want to format your drive in XFAC is because it will allow a Mac and a, and a PC to read the, the drive if you plug it into a Mac or a PC. So you want to put it for XFAC. And there's other reasons why. I'm, I can't remember off top, but you can look up the benefits of having your drives uh, formatted in XFAC. So what I would go down here after I did that is I would go to Erase. Now, I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to mess up my drive because I already have it formatted. And if I did that, I would totally delete everything that was in there and that would be horrible. So once you're done with that, you'll be able to go up here and see your drive that you just formatted and it'll have the name that you gave it. And now you're ready for your MPC. So now your drive is ready to be used in standalone mode. 
So this is an important step. The next thing you're going to want to do before you put your NPC back into standalone mode is you want to eject these drives. The reason you want to do that is because if you safely eject your drives the right way, it will prevent you from having any type of memory or storage loss. So that's very important. Before you put your NPC live into standalone mode again, just make sure that you safely remove your drives. So now that you got your NPC back here, you can put it back in the standalone mode. Now, when you go to your browse, you go to places and your hard drive should be showing up in your NPC. It should be searchable now. You should be able to see it. And there goes mine, the old Caesar SSD drive. And that's how you format your drives on a Mac computer. Now, as far as formatting your SSD drive on a PC, I'm pretty sure it's fairly simple, just like it was on the Mac. So I don't know the exact process to do that, but I'm pretty sure there are videos across YouTube that will show you how to do it on a PC as well. But I know it's got to be pretty easy because doing it on a Mac is pretty easy. So, so there you go. It's easy to move the hard drive from one unit to the next unit. And it's also easy for the MPC Live to read the SSD drive because it's already formatted in the way that it's supposed to for the MPC Live. So that way, when you do switch the hard drive over from one unit to the next, it works just like it was on the old unit. And everything is set up correctly. So... So I hope this video helped at least one person today. If you guys like tutorial videos like this, I will leave a link up here in the corner where you can check out more tutorial videos like this one. You guys be safe, stay blessed, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.